Today, the vast majority of the world's people are governed by a system called the state. It's not very popular. In 2019, only 17% of Americans said they trust the government to do what's right just about always or most of the time. It's failed to deliver on its three basic promises, to provide a degree of personal security, to provide a shared identity and sense that our voice is heard, and to provide a path to material well-being. The state is also failing to address three big crises facing humanity, rising inequality, poverty, and unemployment, mass dispossession and migration, and the increasing threat of climate change. But what is the state? The state is more than just government. It's a vast 500-year-old system for ordering and controlling relations among human society, the economy, and the natural world. The state is analogous to a computer operating system like Microsoft Windows or Mac OS. It's a way of thinking that's embedded in us, a framework for society that molds and directs us. It tells us what is possible and what is impossible. Even our attempts to reform the state are mediated by the state itself. Capitalism is a critical part of the state. It supplies the economic engine the state needs to grow, and capitalism depends on the state for the laws and regulations it needs to function and to protect and rescue it when it finds itself in crisis. The state is controlled by a self-selecting global elite of property individuals, business leaders, military, and politicians. It legitimizes itself by providing privileges to a core identity group. In the U.S., this group is white people, at the expense of people of color and other working people. It institutionalizes racism and other forms of oppression and discrimination to buy the support of this core identity group. It imposes its will through hard power, like police, military, and militias, and soft power, such as propaganda and popular culture. Today, the state is well on its way to creating, for the first time in human history, a worldwide monoculture tied to a uniform economic model and a single pattern of governance. If it succeeds, our lives, our economic well-being, and now our planet are at risk. Political revolution is not the answer all by itself. Governments have been overthrown many times, leading to new governments that fall into the same pattern. We first need a grassroots social revolution that enables us to think outside the state, to govern ourselves, to solve problems through mutual aid and direct action, and to expose the state's failures and discredit it. The state needs us, but do we really need it? If we want to survive, maybe it's time for us to think beyond the state.